Rock and roll cats. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Fire crews are on their way. Dozens of fires have broken out today across the country. Emergency services are rushing to those areas. Now she's closer and older while she's watching her daughter's children play. In the blink of an eye, how quickly it's gone and flown away. On that day, the fires were wild. His pounding heart led the way. She remembers what he loved, but that's what took him away. Stick by the gorgeous Honey Love. Breaking news. Hector sues Wild Bill, saying Boot Scootin' Baby is a copy of Foot Stoppin' Baby. Catfish Bull Judge decrees they share copyright on both songs. In more local news, the blues community is in an uproar as hardcore blues fans express their unhappiness in Mo Blues playing pop folk instead of traditional blues, which he's always been known for. We have a snippet of Mo's response. He said, Well, you know, a great man once said to me, all music is folk music. It comes from the people, it's folk. I say it changes as good as a holiday, and variety is the spice of life. I got a new traditional Mo Blues album already on its way. So let's not be sad. Let's smile and enjoy a different flavor, just for a moment. There ain't nothing wrong with trying something new. And I say, you never know if you don't give it a go. That's a word from Mo. For the best in blues, country, rockabilly, and rock and roll, 
Stay right here. We're on air 24-7, playing all your favorites on all your devices whenever you want. Don't touch that dial. You're on TCW, the Cat's Whiskers, radio and TV. TCW, the Cat's Whiskers presents the Benny Bassett Interviews. It all began in the Catalina foothills many years ago. Delta Betsy Florence, also known as Big D, was raised in a family of 12 kids. Her father worked as a tobacco farmer and her mother stayed home to raise the children. Delta's whole family lived together in a two-room house. She shared a bed with three or four siblings every night. Recalling her difficult childhood, she said it was so cold in that house that they had to bundle up to go to bed. Delta would later feature in a picture of the cabin where she grew up on the cover of her third album, Cold Catalina Country. It's my pleasure to welcome to the show the Queen of Country, Miss Delta Betsy Florence. Well, howdy Mr. Bassett, listeners and viewers. I'm so happy to be here with y'all in Catfish Bowl. It's wonderful to have you here, Delta. So tell us, what drives you? Well, I always believed with all my heart that I would make it. I saw no reason why I couldn't do it. I was willing to work. I was willing to sacrifice. I had been as poor as anyone could ever be. So I had everything to gain and nothing to lose. You have so much going for you right now. Is there anything in the offering, like movies or TV specials coming up? <laughs> oh, no. I don't have a desire to be a movie star or an actress. That's never been my dream. It's been about the music, mostly. But I would do certain things if it's the right thing. What advice would you give to up-and-coming singers? You know... My mama always told me that if you want the rainbow, you got to put up with the rain. And I will say it's never as easy as it looks. Nothing comes without hard work. So if you want it, work at getting it. Well, thank you, Delta, for talking with us today. Don't be a stranger and come back again soon. Oh, now... This is my pleasure. You know, Benny, a stranger is only a friend you haven't met yet. So you can bet I'll be back before you know it. This is Big D saying, play for fun. Bye for now. Wonderful Big D with you, me, and September. We wave goodbye. the clouds go. It's time